Good day, Dino friends, or actually kind of a bad day. I'm having kind of a bad week, actually. Uh, I've been trying all week to make this video. It's going to be kind of a sad video, so that's why uh, I couldn't get myself to make it. I was kind of stressed. Uh, so I've decided I'm just going to record this and just put it on YouTube. I might not even edit anything uh, just to get the message out there. So where do I even start with this message, with my story? Okay, you know what? I'll just start from the beginning just in case anyone's watching who doesn't know anything about my game and uh, that I have uh, so last year during Easter before Easter came out uh, it was already known what games were going to be in the Easter event which games would partake and I had just found a portal uh, script in Roblox so you can make a portal that goes to another game so I decided to make a little portal game with portals to all the different games for the Easter event, uh, for the egg hunt. And then it turned out that Roblox actually didn't make their own egg hunt lobby with portals. So everyone in Roblox used my game. Like within two weeks, my game had like 35 million visits. 35 million visits uh, during the Easter event. And yeah, it was actually a crazy time. I'm not going in detail about that time. That was actually crazy. Um, and after that, I really enjoyed like helping people get those free items. So I kept thinking about what kind of games I wanted to make. And what I really like is that some people who like to make shirts, sometimes they make a little shop game to show their shirts and sell their shirts. Uh, I, and I thought, what if you make a shop game but for free items like you take all the free items from roblox catalog and you put them in a shop and they have a shop but with only free stuff it's like a free shop uh, so i decided to rename the egg hunt game as the free items game and i started working on putting everything in here from just catalog items to event items everything uh, and yeah, it's been about a year that I've been working pretty hard on it. Uh, it's been a weird time uh, slowly getting people's trust because when I first made this game, everyone was calling me a scammer. Everyone thought it was, was fake, like, because there's a lot of people promising like free Robux or whatever and they're scammers or trying to hack you. So it took a long time to build up the trust from everyone. And... Um, Sorry, I'm blanking because I usually get to edit these videos and now I know it's some <laughs> just rambling uh, So yeah, it took a year to build up this video every uh, to build up this game and every time there was a new event I had to make an extra room so slowly this game which one used to be like a short hallway only like this long with a few side rooms Stretched longer when more free items came out and it still doesn't even have everything there is I'm still it's still not even really done um, So here Here's the problem is that I actually have um, it's really hard to explain so I'm just going to put it very simple is that sometimes I just can't do things for no specific reason um, it's just mental issues so I just cannot do things sometimes so if something's too stressful but sometimes it's, there's no really a reason I just cannot do something um, so that's why this game really is still very basic, even though I've been working on it for a year. Every time when there's a new update, I just put that update in the game really quick. I just make a new room, put in the update, whatever it is. Let's say it's usually it's like a special game. So I put a portal and then I put the items and a little description on how to get the items. And then I usually stop because I'm already too stressed out because of my mental handicaps and stuff like that. I just have to stop and pause and so that's why my game is really simple and yeah over the years there's like a few thousand people that come back to my game every time when there's an update so a big thank you to those people but of course because my game is so simple and easy and as you can see it could do with a lot of improvements uh, a lot of people are trying to do just that sadly the way roblox works a lot of people 
they can think of a game to make so what they do is they just look at other games and then they just try to remake those games sadly over uh, the past year there have been about five games something like that uh, at least the ones that i could find there's probably more uh people who just try to recreate my game step by step like i'm not talking about oh they're also trying to make a shop with free items which i think is cool if other people do that too because in the end it's just meant to help people right i just want to help people and if there's another the game that also helps people then no problem in my opinion uh, the thing is that all of them so far that i've found had at least some very clear points that showed that they looked at my game before making their game uh just taking some things from my game and putting it like like you see this thing now i'm holding this speed thing every single i, I dare you to find another free items game and see if they don't have that. They all they all have a few things that give away that they started off with my game, and then hopefully they try try to kind of change change it up a little bit. Like one of them is a spaceship. That's the most popular one. That one's kind of cool, um, but it still has some portals that they like copied from me. Like why didn't they just make a different portal? I don't know. Um, yeah, so. So basically, it makes me very sad whenever people try to copy something that I make. I've had this on YouTube too, where I've made videos and then other YouTubers try to remake the same video like the next day. Uh, uh, people who cannot think of videos themselves. And it just makes me sad. Ever since I was a kid, I, when, I, when I was in school and I said, I'm going to draw a boat or something for art class. And then the kid sitting next to me would be, I'm going to draw a boat too. And I, I was like, why? Why don't you just do your own thing? And yeah, it just always makes me sad. Uh, so yeah, over the past year, slowly, it's been getting more and more stressful to make this game because every time Roblox comes out with new items, which they usually do at midnight or past midnight for me because it's Roblox is in the United States. So all their updates are like United States time and I'm from Europe. So um, it's really stressful because it means that every time when there's a new update in Roblox, a new event, I have to, I wake up and literally the first thing in the morning that I have to do is make a new room and put a new event. And uh, that's not really fun anymore for me. Um, even though I love helping people, uh, now there's another reason why I have to be fast. Because usually if I was a little late, it didn't really matter. Because the people who are that fast with events are going to get their items anyway. They're not really, they don't really need my game. Um, it's more for people who are a little bit slower, like me, who find out about free items like a few days after. Um... But now there's another reason why I have to be as fast as possible. It's because these people who are trying to copy me are faster than me. Uh, some of them are probably from the United States. And they just have an update out instantly. Uh, so they're basically beating me. Literally beating me at my own game. Um, and that's just not what I want. That's just not why. I, di I didn't make this game because I wanted to be stressed out. Trying to be faster than people who are just trying to steal uh, players away from me. Um, I really think it's sad that they're trying to do that but at the same time if they're better at helping people then i think it's that's not a problem so it's kind of like mixed feelings um yeah sorry if this video is a bit rambly but i'm just trying to get across uh, uh my point across and um yeah, I've been just stressed all week because I wanted to make this video, but I know it's going to be a sad video, kind of. Kind of maybe not even fun to watch for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to... Uh, I'm just trying to get my point across. And also that I'm just looking for new people to work with for my game. So this game actually gets a lot of players. Uh, last Friday, so let's see, today's Friday, a week ago... Uh, within one day, the game actually got about half a million visitors because the, the spaghetti hat came out. It was a free spaghetti hat. Uh, I guess you can still get it. Here's the promo code. Here, like if I stand like this, you can see all the cr pro promo codes at once. I don't know which one expired. One of them expired, I think. So yeah, this spaghetti hat came out uh, that you can wear. Within one day, the game had 500,000 total 
people visiting that is that blows my mind because as you can see i'm not a very good game maker i'm just trying out silly things seeing what works uh so that so the fact that there's better people than me at roblox studio who just try to copy it instead of like contacting me trying to work with me they're just trying to copy it um yeah that makes me really sad and that's just not what i sign up for so um if there's anyone watching who is a game maker who's a de roblox developer and they think they have a few hours a week that they could spend on this game if you want to help uh, basically here's what the work is every time when there's a new free item you put a new room a new uh place uh, I couldn't even get myself to make a new room for the newest event, the 21 Pilots event. Um, I didn't even finish that update yet. Uh, or as, by, by finish, I mean finish putting it in my game because I just got so stressed out. Um, so yeah, I need someone who doesn't get stressed out. Who Because it really is only a few hours a week that you have to spend on this. Some up, sometimes I make an update and it only it's like 10 minutes to put it in. So it doesn't take a lot of time. But the problem is that you have to, that you cannot choose when you update the game. You have to do it as soon as the update comes out, as soon as an event comes out. Um, so yeah, that's basically why I made this video. The reason why I got so much more stressed lately than over the past year, because of course people have been trying to copy my game for a long time. Uh, the most popular one is the Spaceship One. I think it's probably the second game that comes up when you look for free items game, free items game on Roblox um they are way faster than me and they're already at like a third of my visitors they're just i don't know taken away that feels kind of weird to say it i mean if people find that game more easy to use then that's fair you know i just want people to get their free items um but um at least they made it into a spaceship you know at least they're trying at least a few things to change it up so recently about two weeks ago uh maybe three already because i'm being slow because i just spent this week stressing <laughs> uh, about three weeks ago two or three weeks ago uh shark blocks made a video about my game where he said people go check out this game it has free items so shout out to shark blocks big thank you to him uh for doing that um, if you don't know Sharkblocks, he's one of those YouTubers who's, who's really fast when there's a new update or free item. He always makes a video about it so you can check his channel and then you can find free items and updates and even future events and stuff. So it's a really good channel. Uh, sadly, as I gave the example earlier, you know, with the kid and the drawing the ship and people who always try to copy and not think of their own ideas. Uh, there is this Spanish YouTuber who was looking at Shark Blocks' channel and was like, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make exactly the same video, but in Spanish. So he also, the Spanish YouTuber with about 700,000 subscribers also made the exact same video uh, where he went into this game and he showed his viewers, which was nice. Uh, except, I don't know how he got the idea, maybe because this game is in English and he's a Spanish YouTuber, but basically, about a week later, he said, Hey guys, guess what? I just made a game all by myself. I made a new game. And yeah, you can probably guess what game it is. Uh, he made an exact one by one copy of this game. Almost everything is the same. He just made the floor everything different. You know, my floor is just like one flat block and my walls are just like blocky. Um, he has like fancier models for that. And that's the everything else is the same. Like he has all of these rooms one by one copied in this game. Not even trying to mix it up like the spaceship game. Um, he called it free items game. Almost everything about it is almost the same. He doesn't even say that he got it from me. He just pretends that he made it, that, that it's his idea, which is so weird. Like, why why do that? Why, why, are, why not at least tell people like, hey, I, this was an idea that I got from someone else or I got inspired. No, no, he's just going to pretend that he made it. And yeah, that stuff just stresses me out because now I have to like compete with all these different games. And because he has so many subscribers, he just pays developers to update his game, uh, which means obviously it's way easier because he doesn't even have to put any effort into it. He just pays people to do it and to copy my game. And 
I already contacted Roblox about this. Um, there's a very low chance they're actually going to do anything about it. Um, I have also sent an email to Sharkblocks. If anyone here knows Sharkblocks, probably not. Like personally, um, tell him to check his emails. I'm going to. I I, I sent an email to Sharkblocks and I said, if you also have a team of developers or something like that, then I would gladly work with you because basically, here's the point of this video is that I kind of want to quit this specific game. I don't want to quit Roblox Studio. Um, I just don't want to be single-handedly responsible for a big game because that means you have to deal with everyone copying your game and everything else around it. Um, I still want to make like small games that just a few people play like the other two games in my group um, and keep making silly games like that, make models, everything. I like Roblox Studio. I just don't like the fact that if you make a game, either it gets popular and people steal it or it doesn't get popular. Those are the two outcomes, possible outcomes for your game. Either not a lot of people play it, or a lot of people play it, and then there's, before you know it, there's going to be a serious amount of people trying to make exact copies of your game. And that is, like, the most depressing thing about Roblox, is that that's just very true. Um... So that's why this is, I guess this is an official, let's see, how long have I been recording already? Over 15 minutes. I'm sorry for my rambling. I guess this is an official invite. If anyone has any Roblox experience, I mean, almost everyone is more Roblox Studio experience than me. Look at how simple this is. Um, please contact me on Twitter or Discord or even in the comments. Tell me if you want to help with this game. It actually brings in a decent amount of Robux if you want to get paid. Um, it's really simple. Just every time an event comes out, just put a, put the event in the game. That's all I ask. Oh, and also you have to make a picture for the game every time. So when, let's say there's a new hat and it's an astronaut hat, for example. Then you put the astronaut hat in the in the picture of the game so people know that there's an update so you also have to kind of know photoshop a little bit or whatever you want to use um and roblox studio and you have to just be ready that's the that's the most annoying part about this game is you have to update it as soon as something comes out i don't know how people like shark blocks do it with their videos uh creecraft Dieter, uh connor 3d all those people who make videos as soon as there's a new free item like, they're so fast. I don't even know how. Like, it stresses me out. Um, yeah, I think I have said everything I wanted to say in this video. If you know anyone who might be interested, uh, I think the Robux that you get from making this game is actually... M at least makes the hours worth it that you have to put in if you keep it as simple as did this i'm not looking to make the game super fancy i understand that a lot of people come into this game and they're like wow this looks boring like the gray walls but i very strongly believe that that kind of helps keeping the game simple and makes it easier for people to find the the different items so i'm not looking for someone to like remodel everything just just a, f a very short very quick update every time there's a new event um shouldn't take that much time so i think the robux will be worth it um if anyone's watching who wants to do this if shark blocks is watching or anyone who knows shark blocks or maybe someone else who's like who's like that like Dieter place connor 3d all of those people if any of you want to work on the free items game it would actually be perfect for someone like that uh which is probably why that spanish youtuber thought of it um th well thought to copy this game because it would be perfect if you have a youtube channel about free items to also have a game in your group about free items um that's all there is. If you are interested, put either put a comment, um, email me at buildasaurus at gmail.com or join the Discord or uh, send me a tweet. I don't really read private messages on Twitter. I don't really have Discord private messages open, but email is the best for this kind of stuff. A tweet, I check Twitter like once every few days, sometimes daily, so that's pretty decent. Um... Yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. I, I Also, I didn't have my audio on. I just realized that for this whole video, I've left this song on. It's like super happy. Well, I've been like, ah, people are stealing my work. I've been working so hard. <laughs> and then this song. That's great. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to be passing this game on to someone who is 
who doesn't have any issues with having to make an update every time there's a free item hopefully they do a good job keep keep the game kind of the same pretty much but like faster updates um that's it that's the end of this video uh, I, i'm probably not going to up, uh, uh, edit this so um let's see oh wait i do have to edit it because the audio channels are separated okay um Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone who has ever played my game. Uh, it blows my mind that over... Like, right now, over 80 million people total have ever played my game. Even though I have no idea what I'm doing in Roblox Studio. To be able to just say honestly that I am a game maker who has had over 80 million people play his game. That is... that That's, that's just a crazy thing to say even though it doesn't really count some people will say it doesn't really count i don't know but it's it's just it blows my mind that last friday half a million people just in one day dude that's like do you know how many people watch my videos that i've been working on for so long like a thousand people or less i don't know maybe more than a thousand but not that many so yeah the fact that I made something this simple and oh, that, that many people want to play. Thank you so much. Uh, if you know any developer friend, send them this video. Maybe they want to uh, work on the game. Uh, preferably someone I already know or I know I can trust them. So they're going to keep the game. Um, it's basically to help people. Like I don't want anyone who's going to put donate stuff. Uh, the people who copied my game did that. They put like donate buttons and a shop with Robux items. Which is kind of not what I want. So, yeah, okay. Um, this is the end of the video. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Uh, see you guys soon. Um, okay, bye.